What's going on everybody? Welcome to yet another Pygame tutorial video from PythonProgramming.net for Bucky and the New Boston. Where we left off, we're drawing our tank and we've got the you know, turret drawn and now we want to draw the body of our tank which is just going to be a rectangle. So to do that, um, just like we have some main tank, basically our tank constants are up here, we have another constant that we're going to add actually two. And these are going to be the tank's width and the tank's height. So we have tank uh, width and the tank width. So how long is the tank going to be? We're going to say 40 pixels. And then we're going to have tank height, and that's going to equal 20 pixels. Then uh, we're going to come down to uh, our script where we're calling the tank function here. And first of all, this was too big, and I'm just going to throw it, because I, I hate hard coding things, and I don't want to make a variable just for the turret, but I think what might be a, a decent uh, dynamic uh, function here would be, not 20, because we want to change this to 10, first of all. So first of all, let's just see what 10 looks like. I just wanted to half that. So that's a little better. So you can see that's a turret of our tank, or tank might be this big, and then we could shoot a tank that's over here. Okay. So we could close out of this. And to make the turret 10 and fit the tank that we say is going to be 20 pixels tall, we could just say, so it's always within like that same kind of ratio, we could just say the turret is the tank height divided by 2. Okay, so we come down here and we just say tank height divided by 2. And that should give us basically the same size, but then if, uh-oh, right, okay, what, why would that, why are we given a, a float for 10 divided or 20 divided by 2? Whatever. So we'll encase this by it with int tags. Let's try that one more time. There we go. I can't. I guess it returned a 10.0. But um, anyway, there we go. Tank turret. And now if we happen to like increase the size of our tank, this would automatically increase. So we wouldn't have to go through and find that value. Especially because it's just like this random 20, so we, it might take a while, especially if we haven't touched this in a long time. So, there we go. Pygame.draw circle. Now let's actually draw the um, body here. Now, the problem is, as we just saw, uh, we have to use these int tags like every time. And that's obviously like kind of problematic. So why don't we go ahead and automatically say x equals int x and y equals int y. So we just convert everything to integers right away because we're we're gonna be drawing like a lot of things for this tank. So let's just instead let's just save ourselves a lot of int uh, typing. Um, and in fact, now we can go ahead and clear this one up. And let's just save and run that really quick. Make sure that uh, we're still okay. All right. So now we've got that going for us. Um, now we're ready to actually draw the tank body. So now what we're going to do is uh, we'll do pygame.draw.rect. Where do we want to draw it? Game display. Uh, what color? Black. And then how do we draw the body in relation to X and Y? So for example, um, we would want to draw it like uh, you've got x, okay, and then minus. So x is basically the location of the center of our circle, right? That's the x location, the center of the turret. So basically, where we want the we want the the tank's body to basically hit that x, but uh, but be like halfway down, I guess, of the circle. So anyway. <laughs> Before I confuse myself, x minus um, the tank's height. So we'll just say tank height. That's the, the starting location of x. And then we have y, which will be identical because that's the center. Or, or, well, we'll just have a y. Right? And then we have uh, tank width and then tank height. And this all needed to be a tuple. So 
tuple that and come over to the end here and add one more closing parenthesis there. Good. Let's go ahead and run this. <laughs> uh, I don't have high hopes, but we'll see. Awesome. Okay, so we actually got it right. Um, so we've got our, now it's beginning to look like a tank or like, I don't know, Congress or something, but, uh, or a bank. Anyway, uh, we've got, we've got a drawing here, uh, starting to look like a tank. We need, we've got the turret and the body. We still need to add the little gun basically and the treads. Um, but, but what we have here though is, is we can slowly start to modify X and Y, um, later on and everything will move together. So we won't. We'll only have to modify X and Y, and the entire tank will move all in unison. So, um, pretty cool. And then the gun will be a little harder to do, but I'll show you guys how to do that as well. And um, yeah, so so we have a lot of exciting things to look forward to. Um, next video will probably draw the gun and the turrets, and then maybe move it, and then we'll move the turret or something, um, or the gun. So anyways, that's what you guys have to look forward to. Hopefully you guys are enjoying. Uh, as always, thanks for watching and stay tuned for the next video.